In this video, I'm going to get started with the Quick Jam Editor. What the Quick Jam Editor is, is the recording interface for the free user accounts. The Jam Workstation is access for the paid users, which is the digital audio workstation for our jams. Um, so the recording interfaces are drastically different. Notice that this jam that I've selected here has two jams in it. I've got a mix from jcool and a mix that I created. So I'm going to click on Quick Jam Editor. The first thing I want to talk about is people with laptops or systems with really low resolution sizes. My uh, desktop here is 1920 by 1080 which is great for seeing everything. However, some people have laptops that may look like this when everything gets pulled up. So you notice that all these tracks down at the bottom, they don't show up and there's no way that you can even see them down here. So there are two ways that you can zoom. If you have a mouse, you can press the control key and use the mouse scroll wheel. Or you can click at the top right, there's three dots and look for zoom minus and plus. Okay, so what can you do with uh, the free version uh, to record? Well, you've got five buttons up here at the top. You've got one for uploading. You can choose an audio, video file, or URL to import. You have the volume tool, which you can slide back and forth, click and drag um, to adjust the volumes of each track. You have the pan tool, left and right, centered. You have the mute tool, which you can mute specific tracks. And you have the delete tool, where you can select which track that you want to delete. What are some things that you, you can do as a paid member uh, that you can't do here? Um, some things include nudging, which means repositioning the audio and video tracks, applying effects. There currently are five effects. Um, threshold, which is like a compression. Spatializer, which broadens um, the channels of a track, kind of making it a, a fuller effect. There's delay, there's EQ, and reverb. You also cannot edit audio tracks to make clips to delete certain segments. Uh, so that's one thing that you can't do as a free user. And as a paid user, you also get access to a library. Um, the library will show you all the user's tracks uh, that have ever been uploaded to the jam. Currently, right now, if a, a track gets uploaded, it stays in the library and can't be removed. Um, I've got a support request in, seeing if that's a possibility that we could do some cleanup there. So when I want to record from the Quick Jam, uh, you can select which mix you want to record to. Uh, you just have to click the drop down for the mixes if there's multiple ones. So I could go back to this one here and you'll see uh, when it loads here, this is his mix. And that concludes this video.